We're on the north side of Frontenac Provincial Park. It's one of Yuki's favorite places in the world. And Yuki wanted to show you some of the cool things we find out on the trail. And so one thing to keep in mind is even though this is one of Yuki's favorite spots and he thinks he knows where he's going, because we're going into the Provincial Park, we do have to use a six foot lead. Yuki dog, hey, we're gonna do leash. That's a good boy. All right, so now we are ready to go. Okay, Yuki. So Yuki just found a hole. Holes in the bottom of trees are always so much fun. Also, we just saw a wasp nest up there. So one thing you'll notice in older forests like this is all the trees are very, very, very tall and very straight. And the branches are only at the tops of the trees. That tells you this forest is a little bit older. Trees that have access to lots of sunlight reach the branches out really far. And sometimes you can even touch them and those are good climbing trees. So if you're looking for a good climbing tree, don't look in a forest because the branches are way up there. So you might notice on the trail in some places, you will see logs with ends like this. And if you look onto the other side, you will see logs with ends like this. And this is how you know that at some point a tree fell across the path. If humans didn't cut it, then you would notice the ends being something a little more like this one, which is all, you know, frayed and chip and really jagged. So if it's smooth and straight, then that was definitely a chainsaw. He's a very good example. I've got lots of very smooth surfaces. Ooh, wetland. Uh, because there's no cattails or reeds or anything in here, my guess is that this is an ephemeral pond. Uh, and what that means is that uh, probably for most of the year, this is dry, but it's after snow melt and in the spring when there's lots of rains, uh, it fills up. We've got a very interesting makeshift little bridge right here, which is kind of fun. There's a lot of mud, so I'm gonna have to pick my way through this pretty carefully. So, ah, Yuki, don't pull me over. Ugh, onto this rock, and then we're gonna see if we can jump. Ah, okay, we did it, folks. Those right there are tree roots compared to the size of my hand. All throughout this pathway. Look at that, mossy, beautiful mossy roots. So here we have a fun little pop quiz for you guys. This side of the tree, we have a little bit of snow left. However, if we go to the other side of the tree, there is no snow at all. You can see there's a lot of sun right here. That's what has melted all the snow. So the sunniest side we know is the south side. What would that make this side with the snow? So it's end of March and we can actually hear the spring peepers just over this little hill. Let's go check it out. Bit of a wind. Oh, you could hear them. Spring peepers, Yuki. Remember? What do you think, Yuke? Good boy, wait, Yuki. You don't want them to scare. I can see frogs moving in the water. This is a good reason to have some balance skills. It's okay. It's okay, Yuki. Yuki has separation anxiety. Brittany is too far. Yuki's upset that I left him. Good boy. Time to come back. Good boy. Wait, Yuki. Yeah, let's keep going. That's cool. This little bay goes out to the lake out there. And then just look at this hill. It does not look nearly as big on camera as it is in real life. Okay, you, can you show me where that poop is? You show me that poop? Yeah, oh, yeah, right there, you can smell that poop. You can tell it's wild dog poop because it's got some hair in it. And it's about the size of dog poop. My guess is coyote. 
So this tree right here is a yellow birch, but it's kind of this nice uh, golden color. You'll notice that the flakes kind of looks more shredded. Um, yellow birches are really cool because uh, they take a really, really, really long time to grow and they much, much, much prefer shady forests that are uh, very moist. You'll see white birches almost all over the place, but it's definitely a little more rare to find a yellow birch. So I'm feeling pretty lucky to see this tree here. Right here, I don't know if you can see this. This hole right here is in a slightly rectangular shape, and you can tell that there was an entrance over there. So one thing that we do know about Frontenac Provincial Park is that it was not always a provincial park. There used to be people who lived here. Uh, a lot of this used to be um, cow fields and agriculture. This forest has regrown from agricultural lands that were cleared, which is just, it really shows you the power of nature. And so this right here, um, I mean, it might've been a basement, it might've been a root cellar, but you can tell the way that it's been hollowed out, uh, the general shape of it and the way that the rocks were piled up evenly around it, uh, that this is definitely a sign of human, which is pretty cool. I'm you squishing know. your head. Ow, stop it. I found another bridge. So here is actually a really good example of a log that has mostly decomposed. In a few years, you won't even be able to tell that a tree was even there. Hey, Yuki. What do you think? It's wet. So Augie just found this rock that was falling out of the bottom of a tree. It's very um, pink, kind of crystally. We're gonna have to look it up. So I don't know if you can see it. All of the soil and sand is falling. It's dripping. And the only thing holding this together is tree roots. We got some really cool, cool looking rocks here. Wait, 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 you got a tick, stand still. Ah, come here, Yuke. It's tick season, you see that tick? Don't eat it. Don't eat that tick. Yeah, flick it. All right, all gone. We're gonna have to do a tick check when we get home, eh? Yeah, that's important. And here we have a wild Yuki print. <laughs> slow, Yuki. Very slow. Good, slow. Very good, Yuki. There's a colt's foot right there. It's the first flower I see this uh, spring. One really important thing while you are going off trail is to remember always to look behind you. Things going this way are always gonna look different than they do that way. And so on the way back, you might not recognize anything. And that's how people get lost. Good, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Augie, can I share yours? Yes, certainly. <laughs> Is it good? Good water? <laughs> 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 <laughs>